Hi guys, Frost here. Welcome back to another low level grinding video. For today's topic, we'll be discussing the farming of the BOE pet Tiny Crimson Whelping, which is a rare and quite expensive pet with an average price of 25 to 50 gold. Gold that can be used to acquire a mount at level 40, learn new spells, or just realize that after all that grind, maybe it's more worth just to keep it, as I did. Also, we'll get deeper into gold gains by making the most of the materials we get by using professions and the auction house. The tiny crimson whelp is a direct drop from the red whelps level 23 and 24, crimson whelps level 25 and 26, as well as flame snorting whelps level 26 and 27, which are all found in the eastern part of the wetlands. While it's not the easiest area to access for the horde, it's not impossible. I've met a couple of hordes, mostly rogues and hunters. The general location of the whelps is in the map shown on the screen. Keep in mind that the lost whelps that you will also find in the area do not drop this pet, but that does not mean you should not kill them. We'll get into this later. So now that we have all the basics out of the way, let's deal with the facts. You should start this grind from level 22 plus. I'd recommend 23 just to be safe. But you should have a better idea of what your class is capable because we are going to kill a lot of whelps. So you need to be efficient in your killing speed and use the bare minimum resources. The whelps have lower HP and armor than your average mob, so don't get too comfortable with them being easy to kill because soon you'll have to go back in the real world to quest and level. Each whelp will drop on average 40 coppers, some grey items, a lot of white crafting materials including the small flame sack with an auction house value of 50 silver to 1 gold depending on your server's timeline progression, economy and so on. You'll also get a lot of greens and the occasional rare blue item since dragonkins have higher chances to drop blue items than your average mob. There's a 1 in 1000 chance that the tiny crimson whelp will drop from the correct mobs. People will tell you that they got a drop in their first skills, whatever. The only approach to have is that it will drop after 1000 kill on average. Unfortunately, I did not get 1 in 1000 kills and it's probably because the drop chance might be off on my offline server. But I did get one within the first 100 kills on Lightbringer and I decided to keep it cause it's cool. Now a lot of people hate RNG grinds, but in my experience farming for the Red Crimson Whelp, it's not actually RNG, and this spot can make you more gold than level 40 plus spots due to the abundance of crafting materials and resources nearby. This grind in particular is good for leather working and skinning, as they give light, medium leather and red whelp scale, herbing and alchemy for earth root, king's blood and large fangs, to a lesser degree, mining and blacksmithing for iron ore, sharp claws and large fangs. Instead of vendoring everything, today we're going to use all the available materials to craft goods and items. Take this approach as a general rule because this applies to a lot of spots, especially the level 60 ones. We're going to start with mining and blacksmith. On my 2 levels grind at the red whelp spot, I got quite a lot of sharp claws and large fangs. Also, if you have mining, you get a decent amount of iron, which are exactly the required materials to craft the barbaric iron helm, which is a great level 30 helm for warriors and paladins. I managed to get almost enough materials for 15 helms after buying some extra mats from the auction house just to make the number even. The helm is quite good and it will always sell for at least 1 gold depending on your server and the price of iron bars. Even if you don't have blacksmith, you could still ask a friend or a guild member to craft them for you. They could skill up blacksmith, or you could pay them a small fee, or just let them keep a helm or two for themselves. So, instead of vendoring and selling the materials for a couple of silver, try to make the most of it. Moving on to skinning and leather working. Here we got enough medium leather and red whelp scale, which except some fine thread are exactly the materials needed to craft the red whelp gloves. Unfortunately this is a rare recipe sold by Wina Silkbeard in wetlands, 
A lot of people will camp this recipe to sell it on the neutral action house for the horde. The gloves are quite okay, especially for druids, rogues, dual wielding warriors and so on. It might not look as much, but that fire proc is quite often, and since it's fire, you will always do full damage opposed to the 15-45% to physical damage reduction one might face normally. Combine this with a fiery weapon enchant and you got yourself a decent twink or a fast leveling alt. I managed to craft 10 gloves and I estimated the price somewhere around 1 gold, but they can definitely go for more since it's a twink item, or even more for horde due to the rarity of the recipe on the horde side. And our final chapter, Alchemy and Herbing. This is where the real money come from. Now even if you don't have alchemy or herbalism, the small flame sacks you get from the whelp sell for a lot on the auction house because they're used on the fire protection potions and price of the sacks goes hand in hand with the price of elemental fire. Basically the elemental fire price goes up, so does the price of the flame sacks. And since people will not be able to afford greater fire protection potions, they'll have to rely on the normal ones. Now you could easily just sell the sacks raw on the auction house and get decent gold, or you could buy the fire oil and ask a friend or a guild member to craft the potions for you for a small fee or letting them keep 5-10% to of the craft, whatever. The fire oil is used in power leveling alchemy from around 130 to 160, so usually there's abundance of it on the auction house for a cheap price. If you sell the fire potions instead of the sacks, you'll be able to almost double your income. Another way to exploit alchemy and herbing at this spot is with king's blood and large fangs, which you'll get a decent amount of them and can be used in making great rage potions, which can sell for 20 to 40 silver each, yet again depending on the server prices and the prices of materials in general. It takes one king's blood, one fang and one vial for each pot. After purchasing some extra large fangs, I've managed to make 51 rage potions. So let's sum it up. Grinded with a dwarf from level 30 to 32, killed over 1000 whelps in around 4 hours. I did not get a crimson whelp, but I did manage to make a lot of silver. Keep in mind that this was a test, and on the real servers your income and experience might be different than this. This video was made to show the full potential of grinding spots and how knowledge about things in game can increase your income significantly. Thanks for watching, until next time, stay frosty.